Hello again, and welcome to another special video in which we will review the most important themes and events of chapters 64 through 66 of the second part of Don Quixote de la Mancha. So let's review. In chapter 64, the outcome of the Moorish novel plot involving Ricote, Ana Felix, and Don Gregorio is suspended in order to allow for Don Quixote's defeat at the hands of the Knight of the White Moon. Chapter 65 reveals the Knight of the White Moon as none other than Sanson Carrasco and brings the Morisco novel to the brink of a happy ending with the possibility of a future marriage between the Morisca and her old Christian lover, as well as amnesty for her and her father. At the same time, we see our novel's earthbound trajectory toward bourgeois reality in the fact that Carrasco stays at an inn and articulates his rescue of Don Quixote as a kind of business. So Don Quixote's defeat in the previous chapter would seem to have provided the foundations for, on the one hand, a materialistic end to the chivalric fantasy, and on the other, a possible happy ending to the Morisco problem. Ricote's agonizing and highly ambiguous speech regarding Philip III's policy of expulsion asks us to contemplate a case of early modern ethnic cleansing. And there are no easy answers here. Turning to chapter 66, Don Quixote has become melancholic and as he limps home, letters from the Duke pass him on their way to the Viceroy of Barcelona. Meanwhile, Sancho attempts to cheer up his master, but he also behaves like a calculating judge and then a selfish glutton once again. Cervantes seems to want us to contemplate one last time the philosophical, political, moral, and even economic lessons of Salamanca and Barataria as the very essence of his novel against chivalric militancy. That's all for our review of chapters 64 through 66 of the second part of the novel. Keep reading. The story only gets better in the coming chapters. Thank you.